Okay, now we're going to test for soil organic matter. Uh, we've taken a sample from the bucket uh, that we previously sampled. <clears throat> and uh, we want to make sure that we have moist soil. Uh, not too wet, but moist. And we're going to break it open. Like this. If it's not moist enough, I would take my water bottle and moisten it, but I've got good moisture. And then what we're doing is comparing this color uh, to the chart that we have here, trying to get the closest match. Okay, and in this case, uh, the mat, the best match that I have is about two, two to three percent organic matter. Once we determine the organic matter uh, of the soil, then we'd record it, and there's examples to go ahead and determine the total pounds in the depth sampled, in this case zero to eight inches sampled, how many total pounds of organic matter, and then from there I can calculate total uh, pounds of soil carbon, which is 58% uh, of organic matter, and then from there soil nitrogen, soil phosphorus, and soil sulfur to give us the total pounds that we have in that depth sampled. And then also we can estimate mineralization uh, in this, in the climate we have uh, here in the Midwest, about usually about one and a half percent of the total soil nitrogen, uh, for example, would mineralize from organic sources, uh, <clears throat> and similar to that for soil phosphorus and, and soil and sulfur that's in the soil.